Hi there. It's Tim with Far North Magic. Uh, opening another mystery booster uh, convention box. Of the, uh, the 2021 version. Trying to um, open some cool stuff. The last box was pretty crazy compared to every all the other ones that I had opened so far. And uh, I guess I'm trying to hope to build on that momentum. Assuming it's not necessarily going to be as good. We've got Wrist the Redeemed. And a misdirection and a throat wolf. And also hoping to get some of the playtest cards that I haven't got already. Uh, I'm still considering potentially trying to build one of those, build a set of them for no real purpose, but there's just something to do. Well, Reliquary Tower is a decent uncommon. We got Master Transmuter and Dragon Lord Ojitai with a Loopy Lobster. So, Helm of Awakening. Decent uncommon, cage sun, and a gold mine. Oh, we got a Phyrexian Arena and a Rift. So we're just getting the same test cards that I, did, that I got. So that's a bit unfortunate. But kind of worked out that way. The other one of the other boxes where they were all doubles for the first row. So I Got a uh, guided passage, Torian Mauler, and a plane quake. We got Tef uh, Teferi Temporal Arch Arch Mage and a Learned Learner. Oh, we got Eternal Witness, it's a decent uncommon. Ooh, Harold's Horn, another decent uncommon. Parish, Perk of Orca, uh, Oraska, and Morrow's Gone Nuts. Oh no, all the doubles, all the doubling. That would be too hard to keep track of everything. Then, oh, we got a uh, lowest pedal. That's a really good uh, common. And then we got everyone's favorite goblin rigger, the Steam Flogger Boss, and Metagamer. Okay, so. 
Kind of an okay first stack. Still hoping for better. Oh, we got a preordain. Hex mage. That used to be kind of worth something. I think that's the other thing with a lot of these cards. They were a lot were worth something at some point, but now we're reprinted a lot of times. <laughs> Goblin game and spawning grounds and red herring as the test card. look at a lot of cards and go okay well that wasn't that was worth something that was like goblin bombardment was worth a lot until modern horizons 2 death by dragon got the vanquisher got the magpie gaunty lord of luxury and five kids in a trench coat Got Gift of Estates, Retreat, the Soul Gorger, and then the Decree of Justice with How to Keep an Is It Mage Busy. Cold Steel Heart, that was a decent, uh, I think it's still something. Draco, and Recruiter of the Guard, that's a good hit. With a, a, Psycho, a Cyclopean Titan. Savage Knuckle Blade and Transcantination. Transcant. Oh, got a Avalanche. Okay. Sanguinate, that's a really good uncommon. I'm still surprised that hasn't got reprinted and like in a more available reprint. And uh, Black Market. Oh, we got one. The Slivdrazi uh, Monstrosity. That's a good hit. I know it's a lot less than this version, but still uh, definitely one I was looking for. One I needed if I do actually can build that set. Got... Oh, the hip. I didn't remember. I didn't think the hypnotist was in here. That used that jumped up a lot for a little bit. We got Serendip Bafri, and a good thing as the 
chest turd. Okay, so final pack for this stack. Really messing this pack up. Can I get through it? Got crop rotation. Two header giant and a noxious bayou. That one's not bad. Okay, moving on to the final stack. Ether Flux Reservoir, that's a decent rare. And we got Frogkin Kidnapper. Hurricane and Pile Driver and Personal Decoy. Planes of Walker Duck. Crystal Shard. Oh, we got Getrog Monster. And Luvac, the Aberrant. I don't know about that one. No, I don't. Okay, and we got Ephemerates. It's a pretty good uncom uncommon. I really thought that would not be as much as it is, just because got extra it's got printing in here and also printing in uh, was it in like reprinted in uh, MH2 I guess that's only in collectors and then also in the uh, I guess the archive is a limited run too Mystical Archive, Centaur Glade, the heck? Beacon of Immortality, and a Swarm of Locusts. Okay, Let's see if we can hit anything in the last four. Thinking it's gonna be not too crazy. We got a Baleful Strix. Simic, Locket, we got Oracle of Nectars, and a Chaos Warp. Ooh, we got a Sliv Mizzet Hive Mine. So we got both of the heavy hitters in the same box. It's crazy seeming to me. Okay. They couldn't pass up on reprinting them. Every year, multiple reprints. Add Mirrored Entity and Buried Ogre. Okay, two to go. Can we hit anything else that's cool? Greater Gargadon and Queen Marchesa with uh, Ambinth Luvex uh, Usurper 
And last pack. Guardian. Tatiova is a decent unclaimed territory. It's decent. The Wayfarer. It's relatively decent. The Pouncer. And a Squid Napper. So. We got. Hmm. What's this? Got a few decent of the common uncommon hits, like with the pedal, the exsanguinate, and the horn. Got a few, we got four mythics. That's only four mythics. Nothing super crazy. And we got uh, a couple of the better rares. Just with the. But the two big hits out of the box are, uh, are these two, I think. Getting them both in the same boxes was unexpected. At least to me. But. So, uh, FC. What I do next with uh, probably end up seeing how close I am to a set of the test cards and then maybe buying another box or two to be stupid and uh, try and get them through pulling, uh, opening instead of just trading or buying. Because what's the fun in that? Uh, thanks again for stopping by and watching. If you could uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, that'd be awesome and appreciated. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and have a good rest of your day. Bye. Come on.